Good morning, we just got back from the gym. I did not want to get out of bed this morning, like, Hamish was up at six, and I was just like, <laughs> sleep, snooze, snooze, and I didn't end up getting up until like 7 a.m. Like, it was just one of those days where I was just exhausted, and I did not want to go to the gym, and I couldn't be bothered, but I got my ass up, and I went, and I just went on the cross trainer for a bit. I didn't run today, because my legs are pretty sore, and then I did some, like, weight stuff, and then, I'm so sore now. I was like sitting in on the floor at the gym just like shaking. I was like, oh my god I'm in so much pain, but it's fine So now I'm making some breakfast and the other day you guys were asking me like for a more in-depth Like how I made those pancake things So I'll make them today for you and show you like step by step how to do it And you only need like four ingredients to make them so they're really easy And if you try them make sure you send me photos on Twitter and Instagram and stuff because I like that. Excuse the semi mess. Um, you're gonna need a scoop of protein. I use this one if you've been watching my vlogs, you know. And this is just a vanilla flavor. I reckon vanilla flavor is good. It complements, you know, the pancakes. And then I like to put in just a serving of chia seeds. It doesn't matter what kind. You can use white or black or whatever you like. One egg and one banana. And that makes about four like big size pancakes. I'd say it's like one serving is like just one egg, one banana. It does make like a really filling meal. So just one scoop of that. So I'm doing 15 grams. Whoop, that was close. There you go, 15 grams. I find scales are really good if you're trying to watch your serving sizes and stuff. Damn it. If you're trying to watch your serving sizes and everything, it just helps you be like more aware of how much food you're eating. Because sometimes I get so carried away and I make too much food and then next minute I eat too much just because it's in front of me and I'm one of those people that will just like pick at my food. So it's good just to be able to like make exactly what you need rather than make too much. And then your one banana and I'm probably going to fail so hard at this. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I've never done that before. Oh, I think I was just covering the um, speaker soles. I like to use this stick blender that I got from Briscoe's for pretty cheap. It's just easy to like whip up stuff like this. It just takes a couple of seconds and then you just have to rinse that bit and it's clean. Let's hope I don't fly powder everywhere this time. Eh. Oh, it's not plugged in. Story of my life. Yay. And this is all you have to do. And then it'll look something like this. And you want to just make sure that you use quite a big banana because if you have too much egg, it'll just turn a little bit too runny and it'll make it really hard to flip them. But it's nice because there's like no flour or anything in here either. And then I just use a little bit of spray oil in a pan and just heat it up. You don't want it too hot. You just kind of want it, I don't know, on like medium low heat because otherwise if you obviously cook them too quickly, they don't take long to cook at all. Only like two minutes each side or something. But if you try to cook them too quick, they're just going to burn and stick. So I just kind of make a few little pancakes. You can make bigger ones if you want. I made bigger ones last time. Sorry if you think my oven is really dirty right now. I accidentally spilled flour the other day. If you've been watching my vlogs every day, you know that. And I haven't washed it yet, so... You know. So yeah, just cook them like you would normal pancakes. Sorry, the dogs are going absolutely nuts. What are you two doing? You're so noisy. You're noisy. Why are you snorting like a piggy? You tell me. You tell me. Love you. Okay, and then for the blueberries, someone asked me how to make that glaze. It's literally just like microwaved blueberries. So I just take a little dish, like a bowl or something. I really like this brand. I don't know. I think the packaging is nice. <laughs> oh, wrong bowl. And then just put in a few, however many you want. Blueberries are nice and good for you, so don't be shy. <laughs> and then remove your boyfriend's oats. Oh, crap because he's in the shower. So we're gonna use the microwave. And then I usually do about 20 seconds and then I'll check it and then do like another 10 or 20 seconds. You don't wanna make them too hot obviously, otherwise they're gonna burn your mouth. And all the natural like juices will come out and be really nice. If you're like really into like super sweet foods, you can add a little bit of honey in with it and that'll make it a lot sweeter and kind of like more syrupy. So you can see they're kind of starting to like glaze over keep going and then you want a nice thin spatula like this one this one's super super thin and you can see they're starting to bubble you just flip them oh man that's perfect master pancake maker right here guys oh this one's stuck 
crap. <laughs> Take that back. That one's good. These smell so good. I feel like kids would like these a lot. I'm not too sure on like if kids are supposed to have protein powder though. Maybe you could experiment with like some kind of other powder. So I got another three little pancakes and I've got four here. So it's made a lot more today, but they are smaller. Obviously it's the same amount of food. And that's breakfast out of those four ingredients. So much food. So yeah, as I said, you only really need one banana and one egg. Unless you're like a massive eater, you could do more, but this like makes me super, super, super full. I'm gonna watch some tragic TV while I eat my breakfast. Mm. So good. Can we just admire how many toys Louis has in his bed with him? What are all those toys doing in your beds? Huh? Greedy. Ooh, that was close. So I just had my shower. I've got a pore strip on because my nose feels so gunky at the moment. My skin peeled off where these breakouts are. And that one is coming out. <sighs> Why can't my skin just look perfect? Like, is it so much to ask for? My fingernail has grown out a little bit. Lots of people have been asking for a wee update on the nail. I'm deciding right now I'm going to attempt to trim some of it off. It's still really, really far down, like, ripping my skin. But I just want to trim it a little bit because I keep catching it on things. is as short as I can get it at the moment so it's still got a lot of growing to go but at least now hopefully it won't get caught on every single little thing my poor nail look how ugly it is compared to the others Zeus have we got mail have we got mail huh have we got mail look at you in your nice comfy blanket we get these blankets from the warehouse on sale like for $30 which is a lot for like a dog blanket except it's not really a lot because we love you. But they're like the best. They're super big and super cuddly and warm. A lot of these blankets are quite cold because of the like way they are. But this one's like real shaggy. He loves it, don't you? Yeah. So comfy. Something from Manuka Doctor in this one. Purifying facial peel for skin imperfections. Oh, maybe I should try this later. That was good timing. Someone was reading my mind. And in here is a bunch of stuff from the Elizabeth Arden Company. Juicy Couture. Um, Elizabeth Arden. And, oh, Britney Spears. Oh my gosh, this packaging. Here's the prices and it's out from the 24th of August. And this is what it looks like. It's such cool packaging. I really like the white. So we have I Am Juicy Couture from the 7th of August and that's the pricing. Oh cute! Look at that. And then we have some Elizabeth Arden Makeup Limited Edition 2015 nationwide from August. So there's some lip glosses and then what are all these? Some cream eyeshadow sticks. Um, gel eyeliner, sun-kissed eyeliner gel, and then the sun-kissed pearls bronzer highlighter. I want to see this. The packaging is quite cool. It's like an iridescent white. There's a warm bronzer and then a more like kind of dark neutral tone bronzer. And then a really shimmery reflective pink. Do you guys want to see me pull off my pore strip? My, like the sides of my nose just felt really, really congested. If you're grossed out, fast forward 30 seconds or so. It doesn't really want to focus. I got out a little bit, I guess, in the sides, if you can see. Now I'm just doing a quick pore mask just to tighten up my pores now since like, you know, when you use pore strips, it really like pulls everything out and kind of like leaves little holes where all the gunk was. So I like to just follow up with a pore tightening mask just to kind of help close them up and then I rinse my face with cold water afterwards. I don't really know if that really does anything, but anyway, I just find it works the best to kind of keep my pores clean for a longer amount of time versus if I just leave them open, I feel like in a few more days, I'll just have like the same problem all over again. So now I'm gonna go do some work. I'm editing again today, if you can tell, because I didn't really get many of those tutorials done yesterday. I've got three tutorials to edit and they're all chit chat, get ready with me's, which take a little bit longer to edit than just like a good old, 
get ready with me with music and everything. And today I have my top 10 perfumes and fragrances video going up. So I'll link it down below, it'll already be up by now. It was such good timing, like after I asked you guys about wanting to do like a perfume video, my manager was actually like contacted by a company called Scentbird and I looked at the website and I think it's such a cool idea. So I cover this like company in the video as well, it's sponsored. <laughs> but I think it's such a cool idea. But the only thing is they only ship America wide, like USA. But I guess you could just use like a shipping service. Don't quote me on that though. I don't know if you can ship perfumes to New Zealand using like U-Shop. I'm not too sure. I'm just reading my comments from my Living on the Edge vlog. And someone was saying like... Wait, what they say? They're not trying to be rude or anything, but they were just like, one of the previous vlogs showed Hamish drinking red wine and then driving, and now he drank a beer and then drove. And they're just saying like how it's weird, like that the culture is different and everything. But I just want to say, just to clarify, like when we got Thai food and Hamish had beer and wine, I drove home because he would have been over the limit. I think here you're allowed one standard drink now. They've changed the law recently. Or if you are under a certain age or if you're on re your restricted license, I think you've got like a zero limit. Hamish is on his full, obviously. Um, and then when we got Chinese food, he drove home, but he only had half of a tui. Like, definitely under the limit. We do not approve of drink driving and we wouldn't do it ourselves. I just thought I'd clarify, just in case anyone has kind of thought that while watching our vlogs, like thought like, oh my God, like drinking and driving. No way. Not in our, not in our nature. <laughs> Look at this super cute necklace Pagan Marie sent me. There we go. I sorted it out. It's so cute. I love it. Thank you. Sorting out lunch. I'm going to have another meal. What have I got? I've either got steak and kidney pie or I've got ham steaks and pineapple. Here it is. It doesn't look very appetizing, I have to admit, but hopefully it tastes good. I just ate that entire meal and it was really good. I've never had steak and kidney before. It wasn't bad. The beans were amazing. This isn't sponsored by the way. I haven't vlogged much because my camera went dead. Um, it's 20 to 5 now and I just finished editing a couple videos, but would you believe I still have like two more tutorials to go? I'ma wait till next week to do those. I am just so like, exhausted lately. Um, I think I found out why though. Let me show you something. So my Fitbit tracks how much sleep I get. And this week, well the days I've worn my watch to sleep. Um, 3 hours 44, 3 hours 45, 4 hours sleep. Last week, look how much sleep I got this week. Uh, sigh. Me and Hamish are trying to figure out what to do tonight. Um, one of my friends Amy is back. She's been on like a contiki. So I don't know if we'll catch up with her this weekend or what. I just feel tired, very tired. Like I need coffee or something. It's ugh, such a bad feeling. Got a big workout at the gym tomorrow too. Hopefully I can pull myself out of bed for it. It's Amy's 21st in like a week or two. So I might film like a get ready with me for that. And I think Sally's coming too. So maybe we could do it together or something. I don't know. I'm just here chilling in bed. Hamish is at the gym. I was contemplating going, but then I was like, what? I'm like exhausted. That's just like a recipe for disaster. He wants to do something tonight with our friends, but I'm like on the fence. I don't really know. I'm thinking I might have to go get some blood tests at some stage. I get tired a lot. Although I'm sure this must just be down to like not enough sleep. Who knows? Mm. I made the other meal for my dinner. This is just the ham. And pineapple and veggies and stuff. We just admire how greedy these dogs are, like hanging out for some of Hamish's dinner. I'm trying to get my bloody schnitzel. <laughs> and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you too. What is this accent? I don't know. I had a bite of Hamish's schnitzel. Is it schnitzel or schnitzel? I'll just call it schnitzel. I'll just call it schnitzel. My mum called it schnitzel. Sh what did she say? Schnitzel or something? Schnitzel. Something weird once. I'm Someone like, has no idea. What I could stop it. laughing at her. I was like, "What are you talking about, mother?" We both had bre main breakfast in bed. Oh my gosh, I can't even think straight. I'm so tired. When did we have breakfast in bed? I'm, I was meant to say we had dinner in bed. Oh, I'll see what you did now. Yeah, we both had dinner in bed tonight because that's just how we rock. And I really wanted KFC, but I didn't. That's right. 
I'm gonna have junk food tomorrow of some kind. Are you? Well, not. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna have proper junk food, but I feel like having something yum. I have this. I might have like sushi, or I might go get that salad, or I might get something like that. I don't know yet. And I'll tell you, I didn't overcook all those veggies tonight, Shan. That's good. They're all crunchy. They're not watery. <laughs> I laugh so much at someone sent me a screenshot of Hamish from yesterday. What did you say? It's like a Harry Potter potion. <laughs> So good. I was gonna say something and now I've forgotten. You're gonna say how godly I am. You're very godly, Hamish. Um, I'm really angry and very personally upset because I right. was about to win a what's it called work day step competition between me, Hamish, John, and Pagan. Oh, I was ahead. Yep. yep. And then Tell me more. he had to go to the gym twice today when I was tired. Yep. And he okay. overtook my steps by a thousand. Okay, and I'll tell you what. Do you why. know how angry that makes me? Because last time I got wasted because I was too tired to go to the gym on the Thursday. And I'll tell you why, because I'm a beast. Yeah, but it's just cheating. It's not cheating. You went if to the I gym went, twice, no. like two or three times this week. I only went once per day, so I did way more steps yeah, than you technically. Yeah, each time at the gym, I would do weights and you'd do more running, so that's cheating. It's not cheating. you do way more running. And no, I'll go in the morning and in the you. afternoon after five, so no. uh, what's wrong with that? No. Chew that. Chew that. Really? <laughs> Chew it. No. Get. Um. Get. Really? <laughs> Look at this bloody sexy outfit. This is what I wear sometimes. What? Look, sh show them my socks. This is disgusting. Oh. <laughs> it goes against everything that a guy should wear. Look at those socks. Look. <laughs> what the heck. I'm sweating. Those arms are looking big. That's what sex looks like, girls. Is it? You heard it first. You wish. <laughs> I'm tired. Nah, not really. <laughs> okay. Tired. I'm tired from eating food, is what I was meant to say. Go get me a McFlurry. Has Louis been drinking out of this? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. That's not cool. <laughs> Go get me a McFlurry. Thank you. No. Thank you. No. You look like a mini bear, like a baby bear. That's what if you look. That's like. not cute. I don't know what is. Got itchy nose. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. I just found a tooth in the bed. Is this your tooth? Hmm? Hey, Mish, look. What? You turned off the light. Yeah. Look. Is it a tooth? It was in the bed. What is it? It's a tooth. Is it actually a tooth? I think it is. Look at it. Squash it. It's not squashy, it's hard. Is it Louis? I don't know. Is it a claw or a tooth? I no. think it's a tooth. Go throw in the mouth. So you want to keep it? No, we could put it under the pillow and give him go some treats. Hey, Mish, wouldn't go buy me a McFlurry, so I'm having this. Uh, hold on. This is like a better alternative to ice cream. It's made with coconut milk. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of this to satisfy my cravings. Lily, say good night. Good night, friends. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Talk to you soon. Bye.